Well, I guess it's about time I did another step and review update video. Shame on me. I know it's been a few weeks, but hands up anyone out there who's still doing the walks and uh, or the runs and enjoying it. Yeah, me, I certainly am. Uh, I find it very therapeutic, my afternoon walk, and I've resigned it to being a walk in the afternoons. Uh, I'm active enough as it is. I don't really need the extra exercise to go run around, but I do enjoy the active walk around the block in the afternoon. It's very, like I said, therapeutic, kind of a nice way to wind down the afternoon. So however you use it, I feel like that's probably gonna be one of the main takeaways from it is that it's kind of like this interesting thing to get you to do something. It's probably not that bad of a thing in the all overall run. Because in those past few weeks, the reason I kind of really haven't made a video is not much has happened. You know, it's it's really just been kind of declining, although it has been slowing down a little bit. And we'll talk about price action and the future of it at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, I'm making a little over a dollar, you know, maybe maybe dollar fifty or something per walk now. And yeah, that's not much. So it's not really what it's about. I don't even really look at that anymore. And sometimes I forget to even cash out at the end of the day because I'm like, and it doesn't really matter. It's just more of a like, sure, maybe I accumulate some funds, even though you should be, if you want to get the most out of your ROI, making sure you exchange that and lock those profits into USDC immediately. What I will say is in the meantime, all that's really happened has been a few updates. And unfortunately, we haven't got a lot of those new features to the program that we've been looking for. I am waiting for sort of that GMT to be brought into it. We've got... Uh, uh, rentals that are coming around the boat, coming around the corner. We have marathons that are also supposed to be coming. So a number of these features that are supposed to hopefully heighten the gameplay and make it a little bit more enticing to keep people inside of it. The crazy ROI days are probably over, but I feel like it's setting into the next stage, the next phase of where this game could potentially go. And if you took a look at my previous video on the tokenomics, then you would realize that this is an inevitability. It's the reality of the situation. And we'll leverage more about this video when we talk about price action. The other thing I did kind of also want to mention was I got my first loot boxes. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm sure there's a number of you out there who already have had their loot boxes. At this point, I'm only getting damaged loot boxes. And let me, let me cut to the chase. They're useless. Don't even bother opening them. It was such a waste of time. I, I mean, I know that they're probably supposed to have a lot in them and I've done the lit, read the literature saying that, yeah, they'll have some exciting stuff in them. And I've heard some people getting some interesting stuff out of them. You know, they could have gems or mystery boxes, even though the lower tier boxes don't have that chance as much, ah. right? But it's like, it's just constantly damaged boxes and you spend $5 on it and then, or you spend five GST and then you get like some GST back. So it kind of cuts the price down. You know, it's basically like a sale on those damaged boxes, but I opened three in a row and uh, yeah, it was pretty lackluster. I feel like they need to tweak that a little bit. So it's enticing because three in a row right off the bat, it, it just really didn't hammer home that I wanted to open up another one. Now, perhaps if it was a different type of box, but I probably won't unlock another box of that caliber again, even the next tier up. I feel like I'd have to wait until I ever got one that was maybe way over that. And who knows, maybe that'll never happen. I'm sure there's probably some crazy amount of luck that's needed on there. And that maybe they're trying to drive me to up the luck stats on the shoe. Uh, you know, I don't know, but it just really wasn't enticing because it just didn't give me enough of a, 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 a rush to really want to do it. So safe to say those damage boxes, don't even waste your time on them. They do save a little bit, you know, and we're talking about 10 cents, 20 cents to really open them. So it's not much to deal with, but yeah, it really wasn't what I was expecting. I guess this is a decent enough segue to start to talk about the future of the project and sort of what the price action has been doing and what it means for it. All right, well, we're looking at GST and yeah, it's pretty much the same we've expected from the entire time. It's continuing to go down. Looking at the one month, you can see that slow degrade down. Though I would say it feels like it's starting to find a little bit of an equilibrium here down to 10 cents. And you know, maybe that's just because people aren't quite selling off quite as fast as they were. But again, this is where that video, I talked about the tokenomics of how the second token will be used. Ultimately, it, if, if everyone in their entire gist is to sell and to make money off of it, there's just gonna be so much sell pressure that it just can't maintain. It just has to go down. So I'm not so worried about GST and its price action as much as I am about GMT. Bada bing. And if we start taking our way up through the time periods, we can start to see that, hmm, it's not actually doing too bad. And this is kind of being a little bit promising. This is the one month view. And we can look at the three month view and we can see, well, we don't have, yeah, we don't have the steep decline or even like a slow decline. We, we kind of have a little bit of equilibrium found. Uh, yes, I would say that definitely there has been some sort of drop offs here. And ultimately over the long term, we have seen it go down, but 
yeah, it seems to have found a nice little bit of rhythm here in this range here over the past month, which is quite nice. And I think that this is going to be a big feature that's going to be implemented when it comes to introducing GMT to the gameplay. Now, if you did miss my other videos talking about step in, doing a little bit of review on it or in my tokenomics video, I can't remember which one. I think it was the first step in one I did. It really went on to kind of discuss how when I was picking my shoe, I wasn't 100% throwing GMT to the side. Almost every YouTuber out there who was talking about Stepin at the time was like, don't worry about GMT, it means nothing. I was like, that just sounds like you're shooting yourself in the foot because really there's a good chance it probably will. They're not gonna implement something that has no future at all. This is about the same time we were also realizing that there were some problems with Axie Infinity and its dual token economics, and it was on its way to fixing that feature to do what I called before it happened where they would actually flip the tokens or at least put a significantly larger value into the governance token of the company. In this case, it would be GMT, right? So GMT, I think being let into the ecosystem will end up being the actual reward token you wanna to get a hold of. It won't be GST. GST, I even anticipate one day maybe you having to pay to use it, right? So I think that having that GMT introduction into the gameplay may change the entire dynamics. The fact that we're actually seeing price action taper off a little bit here, maybe, you know, find an equilibrium, doesn't mean it can't go down. You know, if we see another huge dip from Bitcoin, all that sort of stuff, the altcoin rallies, it, it just, whatever the, the crypto market as a whole is gonna do, it's obviously gonna acquiesce to that. But seeing as everything's kind of stable for a second, it's, it's probably gonna find itself a little bit of a bottom, hopefully, you know? And maybe that means that it's about their time to start to implement those features. And as they do, GMT will come in and and it might become a little bit more reasonable to think about your luck features and your GMT. So talking about those loot boxes, yeah, they were kind of useless. But if you really did want to get some extra incentive out of getting them, you may want to up your loot because, hey, that, that might be the best way to really make some extra money out of it. You also may be more enticed to get your GMT. So then you're going to be more concerned about comfort than we were all putting all that effort into... What's the first metric? Ah, uh, yes, efficiency. I had to look it up. I couldn't even remember what it was. But... Yeah, basically I'm thinking that it was wise that I didn't necessarily write it off. And I did realize that, hey, maybe if I leave some of these gems and they have some comfort ability to them and I could update my comfort over time if I wanted to update my sneaker, I didn't throw it out. And I don't think you should yet either. And this is for any newbies who come in to get this. It might be an opportunity down the road to implement more comfort onto your sneaker and worry more about GMT or at least consider it because I do feel like it will be the future ultimately. Again, it's the governance token of the company. Then that would be like having shares in the company. If the gamings do good, then you're gonna be doing great there. GST, it's always gonna be wanna be sold. If people just use it to sell and speculate on, it'll just wanna be sold. That's probably the reality. So if you are interested in more of those information, go check out any of those videos. I just also released a tokenomics video kind of talking about how play to earn models work and how I see that they don't really work a lot of the way people think they do. So if you're just trying to make money out of it and not anticipating it being a game and actually using it as a game, then you're probably gonna be in for a sad surprise. And I would be interested to see your feedback on it because it's just you know kind of something off the cuff that I was like, this doesn't really seem like it works, but obviously we're all in explore exploratory mode. We're trying to find out what models do work for these play to earn mechanisms. So should be interesting to see what the future has. As for now, as I said, I'm having a good time with Stepin. I don't really bother that it's not too low as long as i'm not looking at it as like i'm quitting my day job and i'm gonna start making money then yeah it's not such a bad deal you know kind of gets me out like i said it's very therapeutic in the afternoon so this is the point where if you got any value out of this or you know you appreciated the entertainment for what it was like subscribe do appreciate it obviously guys not financial advice i'm just some guy on a camera i'm just talking to this camera right now and i hope you get some value out of it or entertainment on it but it's not financial advice it's just an opinion and that's my usual out, so I'm going to see you in the next video. All right, guys, bye.